In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best passing concepts from Gun Tight that will help you bomb cover four, cover three, as well as give you some really good reads against man coverage and potential check downs off check down options as well. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. My name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day, just trying to help people get better at Madden. If you want to get my full gun tight offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for the Patreon. And you'll get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including the gun tight. And we're dropping a brand new ebook this week. So make sure you are in the Patreon so you get access to all that content. If you want to check it out, the link is down in the description. So the play we're we'll be talking about today is PA slot options. This play is found in the Detroit Lions playbook. And we're going to be showing you this play against cover four as well as some other coverages. Now what you want to do is you want to run this with your running back to the wide side of the field. Your running back has to be the wide side of the field for this. And all we're going to do is we're just going to come up, we're going to streak the tight end, and we're going to snap the ball as fast as humanly possible. And what you're going to see here is we are going to potentially have this deep bomb against cover four over the top. Now, my favorite way to throw this is actually to use free form and high balling um, at the same time. So we're going to hold left trigger and we're going to go hold left L1. And what you're going to see is as soon as he crosses the safety's face, we're going to be able to throw this with a high ball and a free form up and outside. So he crosses the face, high ball and free form. You see it puts it where only your receiver can catch the ball. And as you can see, this is one of the best cover four beaters in Madden 23. Now, what a lot of people like to do whenever they're defending them tight is you will see a lot of base align and press cover four well as long as we can get enough time you'll see here that this will just absolutely destroy the coverage over the top especially if you have a big body receiver that can go up and make a play now this is also really good against a baseline press or not even doesn't have to be baseline press but it's really good against cover three as well you have your tight end up the seam he's going to hold that third and then if they're pressed a lot of times you can still get this ball over the top of the defender just like you're seeing me do right here so again if i'm going to baseline and press and run zone or run that cover three covers that's so popular you'll see here that again if we have some time we can free form and high ball it over the top of the defender now let's say that they're not base aligned um, what you're going to notice is it will play it a little bit differently so you'll see here that if they're not base aligned on their coverage then you're going to you're still going to have a window to highball and freeform over the top of the head of the corner but it is a little bit more subtle and again it's really important that you're highballing this and you're freeballing this uh, or freeforming this let me show you um, what happens if i don't do that so you'll see right here if i just try to throw this as a standard high ball it's going to drive the ball more backside and it's going to drive the ball more toward where the corner is kind of drifting into so what we want to do again is we want to high ball and we want to free form this up and outside um, kind of at about 11 o'clock. That way, even if the corner is there, the ball is going to be where only your receiver can catch the ball. This high ball and free form uh, concept is actually something that I think is really good and really underrated. Not a lot of people... Um, have really been talking about this, but high balling and free forming, it really can put the ball where only your receiver can catch it. Now you will get some overthrows as you're seeing here, but this is a bomb potential play. You want to make sure you're not throwing any picks. Now I also want to show you like a backed off cover three. So like, let's say they're not pressing. If they're not pressing, um, you can still kind of hit this over the top, but it is definitely much, much, much tighter of a window. So if they're not pressing their cover three, really where you want to throw the ball is you want to throw it early. So what you'll see here is you want to throw it right about here where he kind of undercuts the safety. That's where it's going to be most advantageous for you to throw this football. Now, cover two is actually the best defense for this. Now, cover two has a lot of problems in this game, um, and there's certainly other things that we can do to attack cover two. Again, what you want to do if it is cover two, though, is you'll see right here, once he kind of gets on top, I can do that high ball and free form and can potentially get that over the top of that deep half, but you definitely don't want to do that if you're not going to high ball and free form. The other thing that you want to look for, though, or the other thing that you want to do is you want to just want a playmaker by hitting the right joystick this little hitch 
and basically playmaker him open. So, you know, cover two is really the best defense, in my opinion, uh, for this play. There is some windows. Like, you'll see right here, like, I can hit the post, like, right in here. I'd have to cut it off. Um, you know, but again, we're not calling this if we're anticipating that they're in cover two. The best thing you could try to do is check it down to your hitch. So, again, just freeform him open or uh, playmaker him to the right. And then you see how I can just kind of use him as a check down. Now, uh, we haven't covered this play much against man, but it's actually pretty good against man. You'll see here that the option route on the left side will basically turn into a really good out route. So you can throw that against man coverage if it is man. Um, another thing that you can do against man is sometimes, especially if it's like cover one, this, um, this post can kind of get itself wide open. So be kind of looking to that. If you have short and a lead on that player, it's going to help him beat man more consistently. And that streak will clear out any kind of deep third. So you'll see like right here, here he's not open, you know, so I need to check down in my in route. But really your, your option route is really good against man. Your in route is really good against man. Because um, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll use her the in route and then they'll go guard the post. But you'll see like right here, we'll see how we're getting this little kind of press release thing. Um, that's where this is really good. So, you know, you have the post sometimes. It's not like 100%. If they don't press you, um, you know, you're not, you're going to see here, he's going to play it a little bit better. You know, so you see here again, just not really open. So, you know, really this is mainly for cover three, cover four. If they are in man, I would say hit your option route. Um, if you can hit that early. And then if that's not there, or let's say you just missed the read, then you want to try to inside pass lead this this dig route right here, um, that's kind of your check down. So that is PA slot options. This play is so powerful. There's so much more that you can do with it that I didn't even get into um, you know, in this breakdown. But really highballing it, getting it over the top of the player through using free form and highball makes this a really powerful passing play. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you want to get my full gun tight offensive ebook, make sure you're in the Patreon. That's where you get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. And that's where you'll also get any of the new ebooks. We're dropping a brand new one later this week. So thanks for watching. And if you want to go join the Patreon, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.